And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Mercury Ceratops, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a chasmosaurine ceratopsid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada, in the Dinosaur Park Formation, and in Montana in the U.S. in the Judith River Formation. It looked like other ceratopsians. It walked on all fours, it had a large frill, it also had brow horns and a beak. It's estimated to be around the same size as Chasmosaurus. That's about 14 to 15.7 feet or 4.3 to 4.8 meters long. Yeah, so like medium sized. Yeah. And as a Chasmosaurine, it probably had two long brow horns and a short nose horn. Like Triceratops. Yes. As a quick reminder, there's two main groups of Ceratopsians. There's Chasmosaurs. Those are the ones that generally had the long neck frills, the short nasal horns, and the large brow horns. And Centrosaurians. Those are the ones that generally had short frills, large nasal horns, and short brow horns. I always think of Styracosaurus as the prototypical Centrosaurine with the Mm. big decorative frill, and then Triceratops as the Chasmosaurus. Those are some good examples. That's how I remember it. So this is a Triceratops-like one, not a Styracosaurus-like one. But there are weird crossovers. That that's It was good that you said generally, because it's not always the case. Just like everything with dinosaurs. Yep, it gets messy sometimes. <laughs> Mercury ceratops was herbivorous. It probably had a parrot-like beak. And it helps to show more variation in ceratopsid frills and skull ornamentation. That's because it had a unique frill with wing-like protrusions on the sides of the frill. They've been described as a butterfly-shaped frill or neck shield. Oh, I have seen that. As soon as you describe that, I can imagine what it looks like. Well, they've also been described as like the decorative fins on classic 1950s cars. (laughs) That's interesting. The squamosal skull bones were hatchet-shaped and they stuck out from the side. And this skull ornamentation was probably used to identify each other and attract mates, in addition to maybe defense. The type species is Mercury Ceratops Gemini. It's such an astrological type name. It is. The genus name means Mercury Horned Face. It refers to the Roman god Mercury because of the wing-like ornamentation on its head being similar to the winged helmet. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. And the species name refers to the constellation Gemini. They're named for the twins Castor and Pollux because two very similar Mercury Ceratops specimens were found, one in Canada and one in the U.S. It was described in 2014 by Michael Ryan and others. The fossils were first found in 2007 by tribal paleontology. They found the frill elements. So those two specimens that were found were nearly identical, the one in Canada and the one in the U.S. They found the squamosals from the right side of the skull. And that helps to show that these fossils were probably not distorted or crushed or that it wasn't a pathology. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's always the question, right? When you find a weird dinosaur, like, was it weird or did it just have (laughs) some issue or did it get distorted or what happened here? And this one was weird. Yeah, when you find two, that is excellent evidence. These specimens were found about 236 miles or 380 kilometers from each other, which is fairly far apart. Mm -hmm. The fossils in Montana were collected on private land and acquired by the Royal Ontario Museum, and the fossils from Canada were collected by Susan Owen Kagan from the University of Alberta. So now they're both in Canada. Mm -hmm. The holotype of Mercury Ceratops may be a subadult. And then the referred specimen is a little bit larger, so it might be older. Mercury Ceratops is part of the Southern Alberta Dinosaur Project, which focuses on dinosaurs from the late Cretaceous found in Alberta and Montana. So a perfect fit. Mercury Ceratops represents the oldest known chasmosaurine from Canada found at the time and, quote, the first pre-Mastrictian ceratopsid to have been collected on both sides of the Canada-U.S. border. The fun little tidbit. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, other animals that lived around the same time and place as Mercury Ceratops include ceratopsids, amphibians, fish, crocodilians, and lizards. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 